To simplify this expression, we need to rationalize the denominator. And we'll do that by multiplying by 3 minus the square root of 27 over 3 minus the square root of 27. Doing this multiplication will give us the square root of 3 times 3 minus the square root of 27 all over 3 plus the square root of 27 times 3 minus the square root of 27. Now multiplying using the distributive property will give us 3 times the square root of 3 minus the square root of 3 times square root of 27 is square root of 81. In the denominator we will have 3 times 3 which is 9 and then we'll have minus 3 square root 27 plus 3 square root 27, so the middle terms will drop out, minus the square root of 27 squared, which is indeed 27. We can simplify this a little bit further. The square root of 81 we know is 9. 9 minus 27 is negative 18. Now we can uh, further simplify this by factoring a 3 from the top, and so we'll have 3 times the square root of 3 minus 3, all over negative 18. 3 goes into 18 6 times, so we'll have the square root of 3 minus 3, all over negative 6. And then the final thing that we will do is bring a negative 1 up, and so we'll have negative 1 times the square root of 3 minus 3 all over 6, because we don't want a negative in the denominator. And then we can finally write this as 3 minus the square root of 3 by distributing the negative 1 all over 6.